Welcome to humanity. This is our life. Whatever it takes, we got to suck. Whatever it takes, the takes is what it took. This is Brock Lesnar, and you're listening to Fight Net Radio. Hi, this is Manny Pacquiao. I'll fight anybody on FightNetRadio.com. But it's a fact. You know what I mean? I, how dare them even challenge me in these fighters, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? With their primitive boxing skills, you know what I mean? They're as good as dead. Awesome. Awesome. You won't be able to hear this intro, but trust me. Awesome. I just popped. That's a wrestling term, Andrew. Popped is a wrestling term. I just did something that was enjoyable for maybe one whole listener. Sorry. There you go. I was listening to the glorious domination theme. You have no idea what I'm talking about, do you? Nope. Doesn't matter, does it? Hi, everyone. Welcome to Fight Net Radio, <laughs> where your ho- host is... Wait. Glorious. Lee, i seen that video. Glorious by Bobby Roode? No. I don't know. The video of you getting... Oh, that one. Yeah, that's yeah. the beginning of a match. That's uh, a guy trying hey, I, to take me down. I need some quicker reflexes out of you, guy. All right? I'm going to tell you that right now. You gave me a 30-second video, and I seen something majorly. I'm slow. <laughs> Dude, I'm yeah, 49. Slow. Come slow. on. <laughs> Cut me some slack. All right, so what he's talking was... about, for all of you who have this, <laughs> does Lee really do that stuff? All you have to do is go to Facebook. Uh, I guess I can share it on the Fight Net Radio page. You can type in Fight Net Radio. I will. I'm putting it on there. I'm going to share it on the Fight Net Radio page. Uh, share to page. I'm going to share it to Fight Net Radio as we're speaking. Okay, there. Now it's posted there. Uh, it's my IB, no, NABJJF, National Association of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, match at the Los Angeles Invitational. Yeah, he's got my leg for a minute, and then I sprawl my leg out. What's the problem? So I was a little slow, and he shot for the single leg. I don't care. <laughs> I need just I just need a little bit more quicker reflexes. Come quicker on, quicker reflexes. Come on, bro. Wow. Is it is it like wrestling, or are you supposed to get tangled up? You know that that well, maybe it's Brazilian my... jiu-jitsu is all about the tangle up. Yeah, exactly. Maybe that's just my mistake. I'm no, thinking no, no, wrestling. No, 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 no. He shouldn't. Look, I I got a lecture. I I was slow. I admit that I was slow in that tournament. So you guys can go to Fight Net Radio and watch me. I'm the bald guy to the right. The bald guy to the left is the one shooting in. There you go. And uh, that was a four minute intro of God knows what reason. Who who really cares? Um, hi everyone. Welcome to Fight Net Radio. My name's Lee Hanish. I'm joined by Andrew Lapache. Format of the show is simple. We talk about boxing. Andrew is very passionate. He cares. He's a writer, and he writes like he cares. Um, I'm an asshole. I clearly just say what's on the top of my head for whatever reason. Uh, For the purposes of making most people laugh. Uh, I say things that people find offensive generally. Uh, and that is, uh, usually my goal. My goal is to make people uncomfortable with the subject matter. And last week, FightNet Radio was able to cause its first retirement. That's where we're going to start. Oh, FightNet Radio managed to convince Robert, I don't want to be a ghost Guerrero, to retire. I'm proud of that, Andrew. I'm proud of that. Did he send you a text message or something, Lee? How did you come to this conclusion? Or well, was it the- after it got blasted all over the internet, and by the way, thank you for everybody for clicking on such a great title and the numbers we did last week based on the title. Uh, obviously, it was forwarded to Robert directly. <laughs> uh, I, I guarantee the only person in Robert's camp who probably saw it was his publicist, so I'm not exactly sure if it made its way all the way to Robert, but I'm going to assume that it did. All right. Shortly after the release of our program, Robert, I'm soon to be the ghost Guerrero and the Deadpool episode. I I believe that's the Deadpool episode featuring Robert 
soon to be the Ghost Carrera, one or the other. Uh, and our 20-minute tirade about Robert dropping dead in the ring from getting hit in the head one too many times. Robert Guerrero in it this week announced that he would retire. And I am taking responsibility for his retirement. And I would like him to name his next child after me. Oh, geez. Here we go. <laughs> because I've managed to keep him alive a little bit longer. I suspect he will still have Alzheimer's and some kind of twitchiness later on in life for taking, I don't know, am I being fair, three too many fights? Nah, you know, I don't know, Lee. You're not a doctor. Who are you to call that? Um, um, I'm sure this last one was... We will the, see. Come we on. will see. We will see. He got out, okay? He's he not... Did. He took one bad beating. Now, I know Robert had a lot of wars. Don't get me wrong. But he took one bad beating. We've seen a lot of fighters that took multiple uh, knockout losses, okay? Um, so Robert got knocked out once, and he left the sport. Uh, we knew his health or, or his, uh, how do you call it, Lee? His uh, fighting spirit was on the decline, right? He had been dropped a few times in his last few fights. Um, had the upset loss to a journeyman fighter, um, had the one close decision to a, to another, you would say journeyman, Aaron Martinez. So <clears throat> we seen the decline. Um, I'm hoping he got out at the right time. I'm happy Robert did. I'm not taking any credit thinking that I'm, I'm me or fight net is the reason why I, I think when Robert went back and looked at the tape, he knew what he had to decide. I think when he when he looked at his family, this is a big time family guy. He knows that he's a big part of of this family. If anything was to ever go bad, you know, in his wife's condition or whatever, Robert has to be there. He has to be there um, physically and mentally. So I think he the, he he only had one decision, um, and that was to retire. He he tweeted out or or you know was on social media before the fight. His his team was. And they were tech, you know, texting and putting out there how Robert was ready for this fight. He felt like he was in the best conditioning of his life. So, you know, I think, Lee, if he was injured, I don't think they would have um, said that. And I think Robert knows that his time is up in the boxing ring. I, I'm serious. I don't think this decision was hard when you take in that he thought he was in the best conditioning of his life. His team thought he was. And he went in there and got dropped five times in three rounds. There you go. I mean, that says it all. So, Robert, when you're naming your next child Lee or your next daughter Leanne, that will be acceptable for me encouraging you to save your life. Now you will be around sipping through a straw because in my mind you took three too many fights, but, you know, people are going to hate for me saying that. I think he's looked flat for quite a while, Andrew. I like him a lot. I just think he's looked flat. He was in the yeah. He was fighting out of his his division. Obviously, um, Robert was probably at best supposed to be what a junior welterweight, maybe even a, a super. Uh, what would it be? Lightweight? Huh? Super yeah, lightweight. lightweight. No, super lightweight is junior welterweight. So it'd be lightweight. Lightweight. Um, that works. Yeah, I mean, I'm totally with you, Lee. I didn't I didn't like it when he took over the whole. What was it? The CrossFit training? Is that what he does now? What is that? That whole new yeah, it cuts down the amount of time he gets hit. <clears throat> no, they, well, with that and they they took away his power. You know, they try to make him this this um what was it, like a pa a punch output a work rate kind of fighter, which is good when they count your punches. See, when you're in fights and politics are in play, sometimes your your little punches won't be counted. Um, other times, you know. <laughs> They make it seem like the the jab is is the most powerful punch in boxing. For Robert, it was never that way. I didn't like. I liked the Berto Robert. I really did. I liked the Robert that fought Andre Berto. You know, um, but he probably wouldn't have last in the ring as long putting on a fight like that every time. I I understand what they were trying to do, but you know that was a big. They took away what it seemed to me. Lee had took away a lot of his power when he crossed. Um, when he when he switched over his his training to this new thing that he's been doing, and the the biggest uh, factor though in his career, the decline of his career, is just fighting out of his weight class. Um, too big of punchers, um, too many big fights back to back. Yes, 
it probably made Robert around what six, seven million dollars. I mean, this is awesome money for a for a kid who who was not um, labeled or described as going to be a, a potential millionaire in this sport when he first uh, got in. Um, so yeah, Robert's done good financially. Um, yeah, nothing must to be said. It, right now, the argument is, did his career warrant? A Hall of Fame. No, I don't know, Lee. What a pile no. of horse shit that isn't is. Livingston and I like, Bra- like isn't I like Livingston. I... Isn't Livingston Bramble in the Hall of Fame? Yeah. Okay. Look, this is this is boxing, bro. This isn't the Major League Baseball, and I'm not trying to knock on on anyone who gets inducted, but we we cannot sit here and act like the Boxing Hall of Fame is to be a Hall of Famer to be. You've got to give it your all in the ring. You have to fight at the elite level and give it your all, okay? So many believe Arturo Gatti does not belong in the Hall of Fame. Lost like every major fight he was ever in, was knocked out, what, how many times? Yes. Four? I think four uh, No, or six I agree. Times. Um, and, Robert and, Guerrero. And a ridiculously bad human being. So Robert Guerrero might not have that major win, Okay. But he has what three fight of the year candidates? You know what I mean? Like he he was he was one of the most avoided lightweights of this era. He was a WBO and a WBC interim champion, and nobody would fight him. Juan Manuel Marquez being the biggest dodger of Robert Guerrero's career. Robert Guerrero called out Juan Manuel Marquez to his face at a press conference, and Marquez said no. Um, it's a uh, it's to me, I think Robert gets into the Hall of Fame. Now, maybe not a first. I don't know how the process works, Lee. After five years, they go one time. Um, I don't know if he's a first ballot, if that's the correct term to use. But I believe Robert Guerrero will be getting into the Hall of Fame for Northern California. I really do. I will also say this. If you're basing it on him being uh, a good human being who actually gave back to the community – who just wasn't signing gloves to increase his Facebook liking following, a.k.a. Danny Swift Garcia, um, and actually doing stuff for the community, actually doing stuff for cancer awareness, even though his hand was kind of forced because of his wife. I will say this. There is no better human being deserved, who's deserved of it, okay? But if you're basing that. it strictly on his boxing... Man, I'm hard pressed. I I'm, know. I'm hard there, pressed. I, he doesn't have the major win. He is not. I, I, and and I'll say this. And you can make the you can make the same you can make the same argument about Gotti. Um, I don't think this is going to get me a lot of heat with our Mexican fans. <sighs> Robert Guerrero is not an elite level fighter. He was a very very good fighter. Very very good. Lee, he'd kick your ass. Yeah, he would. He should. He's a professional boxer. Okay? Right. I'm not right. stupid. I hate that argument. He'd kick know, your ass. I know. He'd kick your ass. Yeah, dude. Um, only talk if you've been in the ring. Only talk if one. you've been in the ring. He'd kick <laughs> your ass. You don't get paid millions of dollars to talk, bro. <laughs> okay, by the way, everybody that you listen to that you guys all think have cred, right? Max, Steve Kim. They've Lee, never, let's not get off of this. They haven't though. even walked the walk that I've walked, okay? So everybody just calm. Dan Rayfield, millions of people following him. Fucking everybody calm down. Dan Rayfield hasn't missed a buffet line once in his life, okay? <laughs> once. Oh, you're going to go off track. Sorry. People just do that all the time. You're just talking shit. No, I'm just telling you what I see. Okay, basing it on watching elite level. What about fighters. the fact, hey Lee? What about the fact that Mayweather clinches over fifty times when he fought Guerrero? But like, he fought elite. Watched... But he fought elite level competition and won. He found a way to win. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom I, line. I, don't know. I think he gets in if he stays away. If Guerrero stays away, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being, look, I'm not saying that he doesn't deserve that situation. I'm not saying that at all, but let's, let's not be, you know, children about this and say, Robert was so great. Okay. No, we're not. And here's the knock and here's the knock, right? Okay. Let's compare it to Mayweather. 
Let's just go down the 